What's going on everyone? This is your boy Ash the Man, anime lover, gamer guy here, and we here to talk about Demon Slayer episode 13. Yeah. Now episode 13 picks up where we left off on episode 12, where Turnjiro is going against the former ex lower moon of the 12 demons. Yes. Um this guy pretty much, you know, play little um you know, congas so that he could change the outcome of the room, you know, structure, not structure, but just like the position of it. And one of the congas is able to allow him to do like a claw. Now, Tondro kind of like tempted him and he pretty much started going crazy and turning the room in, in crazy places. And Tondro was able to not only like, you know, get a hold of the situation, but he was able to distract him long enough for him to put his plan in motion where he used the knife form of the water breathing to be able to get in and see the clutch and blow. But also the way his tactic was is that he was able to compliment him on his technique and looking at his music notes gave him praise for it. So it kind of distracted him because he wasn't used to that due to the demon's past before he became a demon. Um, I guess it was his master that told him that his like his music notes and stuff was born and didn't have any elegance. It didn't have that push and stuff like that. So he became a demon, ripped his master to shreds, and I guess that's where it started off for him. But before his body disintegrated, going into God knows demon hell or something, he pretty much asked Tondra what he serious that he like that he said it was amazing but I just can't forgive you for killing him as of course because he's a demon slayer and he's there to save people now after all of that seeing that Kageo pretty much body just go away he goes out to witness to see that the um Enos Inosake or something that's his name I believe so yeah Inosake pretty much was hitting um, Zetsu um, because he was protecting the box that Tondro's sister is in because he heard because he know that Tondro said it's more important than his own life and it goes into a little bit of background with you know, just give it a little bit of how Zetsu even thinks and what his mindset is. So after going through all that, you know, going into a little past events with early on in the episode, it pretty much left off with Tundra charging in and I'm pretty sure he about to give Ano Sosuke some hands for trying to kill his sister and hitting Zetsu. So yeah, that's where the episode left off. Great episode, I loved it, like it. Everything about this episode was pretty good. And I think Demon Slayer, again, is a great anime. It's definitely jumping off at the right atmosphere. We 13 episodes in, and I love every episode so far. It had a little bit quiet moments sometimes, but I believe that they provide enough action for you to be satisfied with informational episodes, build up episodes. So, yeah. We definitely in there. I just want to thank you guys for definitely tuning in for this review. Um, I will be trying to finish up Assassin's Creed streaming and also posting that Dora Row review so that you can uh, so you can get my take on it. But again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment at the bottom if you love the episode. If you didn't, still leave a comment and say what you didn't like about the episode. I definitely would like to hear it. Until then, Ash the Man out. Peace.